mm, Halo. Interesting. 64 Diddy Kong Racing game. And... My roommate just died. Uh, <laughs> sorry, he's playing Goldmine. But, um, so... Uh, yeah, it was definitely one of the things uh, I, I noticed was that, that it looks a lot like Diddy Kong Racing. Because I have both Mario Kart 64 and Diddy Kong Racing. And it more reminded me of Diddy Kong than uh, Mario Kart, honestly. And see, the interesting thing is, is that um, I read up an article recently. I don't remember exactly where it was, but uh, I remember reading up in an article saying that uh, what was it? They compared the differences between Mario Kart 64 and Diddy Kong Racing on the N64, and uh, sort of compared the differences between the two and pointed out uh, what. Mario Kart did better compared to Diddy Kong Racing and vice versa. And I thought that was a very interesting article. Um, personally, I prefer Mario Kart 64 because yeah. it still has that Mario Kart feel. Though I do, I do have to say Diddy Kong Racing does give it a run for its money. So honestly, um, I don't. I have not played Diddy Kong Racing a single time since I bought it at Goodwill last year around this. Yeah, at this time because I was coming back from the National Conference last year, and that's where I am now. And I bought it at Goodwill. And I have not played it more than once. Because the thing is, Mario Kart, uh, everybody knows how to play Mario Kart. And uh, the battle mode is so addicting. Like, me, oh, yeah. my brothers will come home from college and we'll play Mario Kart for hours. But, uh, anyway, I'm really excited for 3DS Mario Kart. Yeah, I'm pretty excited too. I'd really like to see the uh, Wi-Fi functionality expanded upon significantly. Um, one of the main features was missing was some sort of chat function at all. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'd even appreciate it even if it was just like pre pre-recorded messages, like the Mario Kart Wii has. So that way, you can at least communicate with, with your fellow players. Um, but obviously, being able to have uh, being able to send out your own custom messages would be very nice. Although I do realize Nintendo, you know, we want to protect your kids from yeah. naughty things on the internet, but... Um, but now that you're catering to the hardcore, what's the point, right? <laughs> yeah, what's the point? Exactly. And what they should do is they should set it up so that the parents can actually limit uh, uh, communication between people online. They can have they could have like a, a setting on the, the Wii U or the 3DS... Um, similar to how they have the parental controls on the 3DS and the Wii U, or I, I apologize, the Wii, the Wii. Um, so I, I think that would be an excellent move on Nintendo's part Although, for them to implement about, something uh, like that. Talking about what you're saying about uh, sending custom messages and stuff, you saw uh, where Star Fox, they have the camera. Did you see that? Mm, no, I didn't see that. Okay, Star Fox, the new uh, 3DS, the uh, Star Fox 64 3D. They are going to use the uh, uh, the 3DS camera to uh, the, you, it will show the faces of who of your friends who you're playing. Hmm. Okay. So similar to the Mario Kart arcade games, where they'll take a picture of your face before the race, and then you uh, they input your face onto a sort of a mask no, 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 that no, no, represents no, no. It's your live. character. It's live. Oh, so it's a live webcam feed. Yeah. Over Wi-Fi. That's interesting. Yeah, it's That's very pretty interesting. Cool. That looks pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. It's uh, definitely one of the coolest things I've seen. Like, it's, uh, it reminds me of the, uh, what was it? Uh, uh, I, Xbox was talking about, or, uh, no, sorry, no, I was saying, sorry, Apple. Apple was talking about FaceTime. Uh, and, mm. like, it reminds me a lot of FaceTime but in a game. And I thought that was a really cool idea. Uh, and anyway, I think we've rambled about Nintendo enough, so let's move on to... Uh, one, one thing is... Uh, uh, yeah. uh, one thing I do got to say, though, is that uh, I am uh, kind of uh, disappointed for Nintendo not... Uh, they, they're kind of just... They keep going teasing... Uh, what is the game I'm looking for? Uh... What was it? I'm not sure if uh, Ocarina of Time 3D had been released by before E3, but uh, oh, they didn't the actually. Really Skyward think Sword. Talking about their teasing Skyward Sk Sword. Sk Sk Skyward Sword. That's it. Yeah. yeah, I was kind of disappointed they didn't really say anything about that. So I'm kind of. I'm certainly hoping that Skyward Sword isn't canceled at all. No, I don't. Perhaps think so. they showed you clips of it at E3. 
Mm, okay. Well, no, they, no they, gameplay, but it was in the uh, the, the uh, Zelda soundtrack thing where they did redid mm -hmm. the soundtrack. It, they had clips of it in that. Oh, okay. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I certainly hope they uh, either release it for the Wii or potentially uh, port it over to the Wii U. <clears throat> they actually had a, they had a demo for a Zelda game uh, on the Wii U play, <coughs> but we don't know what Zelda game it is yet. So. All right. Well. Um, oh, and Kid Icarus. That's what I was thinking. Yes. Kid yes. Reveal. Kid Icarus. Is coming up with me. Um. All right. Next is Sony or Microsoft. I guess we'll talk about Microsoft, which yeah. there isn't really much to talk about. <laughs> All right. I bet I can cover the entire con press conference in like six, six seconds. Um. New Halo. New Halo. New Gears of War Connect. Yep. That's pretty much it. Um. I was a little bit disappointed with. Uh, Microsoft's press press conference and the fact that they couldn't really bring up anything uh, to the table this time around. So it looks like Nintendo definitely stole the show this year. <laughs> but yeah, it was definitely one of the things where it's like, hey, this is a uh, last year was Microsoft's big surprise everybody year, and this is one, just one of their transition years. Yeah, I seem to notice that pattern with uh, Microsoft and their presence at E3. Yeah. And so I think we talked about this. Uh, before was when we were uh, talking about uh, Microsoft, how, they're, how they make 10-year consoles and Nintendo makes 5-year consoles. So oh, yes. To create a console yes. for Microsoft to wow everybody, it has to be able to last <coughs> uh, twice as long that the system specs do to last twice as long as Nintendo because mm -hmm. Nintendo updates every uh, 5 years and uh, Microsoft updates it every 10 years. But, yeah. Yeah. And then the thing is, is that in order to keep their... Uh, Excuse me. In order to keep their five-year consoles going, they release a new updated version of their console every 18 months or so. I mean, prime example is the DS or the Game Boy series. So, well, uh, anyway, but uh, so yeah, basically, Microsoft is Halo, Neutral Halo trilogy, Halo remake, and Years of War, and Connect integration with everything. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Although I will so. say. Connect seems to be uh, <laughs> definitely catering to the hardcore now. Yeah, I I was watching a, a video and they were showing a demo of Connect uh, playing a first-person shooter. I was pretty. Uh, what was pretty it? Interested well, in it was. Uh, I, I thought it was Tom Clancy, right? Tom Clancy. Ghost I think Recon? it was Tom Clancy. Tom Clancy Ghost. Yeah, I think it was Tom Clancy Ghost Recon that they were demoing with the Connect. Um, yeah, yeah, Future Soldier is what my friend said. Future Soldier. Yeah, I believe so. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure how well that's going to work out. And, and my opinion is is that I can't really play a game unless I feel like I have something in my hands. I mean, for me, the Wii works pretty well. You know, I'm, I'm able to play a good game of uh, Goldeneye on the Wii, but uh, just not having that sensation of having nothing in your hands, that just feels a little too weird for me. So, especially for something like a first-person shooter. Which, uh, my primary platform, or preferred platform for uh, first-person shooters is most definitely the PC, but, uh... Yeah, because... Yeah, that. yeah but, let's see, the thing I'm afraid about Connect is, uh... If you're controlling it with your motions, I hope it's not... That there's gotta be some way they can judge whether you're walking forward or backward, because you can only walk forward or backward a certain distance before, you know, you, you step out of the connection range. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Uh, I'm sure they'll find some sort of creative solution to work that out, but uh, not sure how they're going to do it. <laughs> Whatever, Microsoft. They, they, they've got uh, Slave Force, I'm sure they'll figure something. And then finally, <laughs> finally uh, uh, PlayStation anyway. Vita. Yay. Yeah, PS Vita. Um, I gotta say, the portable Minecraft thing really caught my eye, but other than that, nothing else really caught my interest at uh, with uh, Sony this year, so um, I, I did hear though that they are just a rumor, but I did hear that they are making a new Ace Combat, which I am very excited. I'm a huge Actually, Ace Combat they fan. They had a uh, trailer, or and that's the sorry, sorry, not trailer. Uh, they had uh, hands on at E3. Oh, I should have gone. <laughs> I yeah. absolutely. Next, next E3, absolutely... we'll, we'll put in for passes and use this show as our journal yes, journal yes. Passes. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. Myself being a huge, uh, uh, huge uh, Ace Combat. Uh, Ace Combat. I, I absolutely love that game's death. So 
Um, I'm really excited to see what they've done with the new uh, new game, and hopefully also, it's not just a rehashing again. No, actually, say I also added, now you can play as a uh, chopper. Okay. Mm. Oh, that sounds nice. And uh, uh, the, the guys over at ScrewTech, Brian, said that he really enjoyed it. Um, yeah. But, uh, trying to uh, oh yeah, Vita, basically. Uh, what I think is, I think it'll do well. Of course, we already talked about how the handheld market is now way down thanks to uh, mobile devices like Androids and iPhones and whatnot. But um, I think it'll do well. I do not think it will be PlayStation uh, portable. I think that the name's stupid. Back touchpad is almost useless. But I will say that it definitely has the uh, PlayStation, uh, what do you call it, the PS3. It, it's got PS3... Uh, Integration uh, or uh, no, the PS3 uh, feel? No, not um, cap- uh, it, uh, technology. It's got PS3 ah, technology. Okay. Like it's it's they, they said it's going to be uh, pretty much on par with the PlayStation uh, 3, and because mm. uh, they showed a Uncharted 3 on it. Or, mm. un- sorry, Uncharted 2. Maybe I think maybe yeah, I think it was two. It was a remake of Uncharted 2. I think. Um, yes. And they said that it, uh, everybody I know said it looked absolutely beautiful. So I'm uh, very excited for that. But mostly I think the, uh, as far as uh, uh, mobile device sales go, it's going to be crazy uh, down this from, from like now on, this generation. Yeah, unfortunately... So, because uh, we're having all these uh, internet tablets come in and steal most of the uh, mobile uh, computer market share See, in this general. Is where, this is where Nintendo so. needs to get smart. Because so far, they've been uh, first party this, first party that, uh, trying to keep themselves afloat. I think eventually Nintendo needs to go the way of Sega and even dump... I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Nintendo is smarter than me. Obviously, they've been around for... Hun- or I, I think... Yeah, they've been around for almost... Oh, uh, let's see here. Probably quite a while. Almost 200 years. Because mm-hmm. they started in the uh, 1800s in the Meiji era selling trading cards. But, uh... Yeah, so... I don't know. They're obviously smarter than me, but I think that they need to start making... Because do you remember in the 90s when Mario was everywhere and they sold oh, yeah. PC educational games and there was TV shows and they need to Fruit do snacks. that. They need to do <laughs> the Nintendo cereal system. <laughs> oh, yeah. Most definitely. Cereals and uh, yeah. sodas and lots yeah, of other collectibles. Exactly. They need to do that again. They need to make sure that they don't keep everything in a little box where they can keep watch it. They need to try and sell out that's the only way they're going to keep in keep afloat in this industry now. Is they need to sell out. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, not the Nintendo absolutely. way, but they need to do it. Yeah, so uh, we'll see what happens in the coming years. Well, so. On the other hand, if you, if you if you look at Microsoft and Sony's game, you can go to Hot Topic and there's uh, Gears of War wallets, Halo Three keychains, uh, freaking I don't know. There's everything. <laughs> anyway. Uh, changing topics a little bit. Uh, summer movies this uh, this oh, summer twenty eleven. Just just real quick on E three. Mm. Uh, Battlefield yes. three and Overstrike both look really good. <laughs> I knew you had to get that in. <laughs> yeah, um, Overstrike Any- is killing me, dude. I want to play it. <laughs> All right, with that, uh, now Sorry, we'll summer talk about movies. summer movies. Okay. Uh, so, what do you think potentially your movies you're going to see this summer? Um. I don't know. Uh, dev- uh, last week I was talking about it, and I don't know. A lot of my views have changed. Um, Thor I saw, really good. X-Men I saw, better. Uh, uh, Green Lantern, uh, I've heard, again, mixed reviews on uh, several different things I've heard about it. And uh, so, I don't know about that one. Uh, I really... I'm hearing good things about... Uh, I, I hear... Of course, it hasn't come out yet, but I hear Captain America is going to be, like, the summer movie of everything ever. Wow. And... As good as it's work cut out for it. Yeah. 